hello guys welcome to another video in this video we're going to be looking at tax 21i the question says open the file tax 21i.htm copy the table so that there are three tables one above the other on the page change the captions from fruit sales to no padding okay so what i'm going to do first of all is to you can go ahead and read the rest of the questions okay I'm going to be taking it one step at a time, all right? So the first thing I'm going to do is to copy the table so that there are three, uh, three tables, okay? So I'm going to go to my um, Notepad++. Plus Plus. I want to locate uh, tax with one eye. I'll open that by double-clicking it, okay? So this is a table, okay? So first of all, this was created from tax print one t So I'm going to change this to tax print one i, okay? And then change this one to tax print one i, something like that. So I just, uh, you know, make sense. All right. So what I'm going to do, I want to replicate the tables, right? So in fact, what I'm going to do is to locate. Uh, let me locate. This is tax print one i dot htm. So I'm going to open it uh, in a browser. I want to open it in a browser and see how the table looks like. So what I'm supposed to do is to is to multiply this table, make it uh, into three uh, tables. Okay, the same table. All right. So I'm going to go back to my code and then uh, copy the table. I think from here, yeah, of course. Table till I get to the closing tag of um, the body. Okay, no, no, uh, the table tag. Okay, so that's to end with table tag. Okay, so I'll copy that. I'll copy that and then probably go down a little bit. Yeah, oh, this does not really matter in HTML, but um, let me just paste it. Okay. So this is this is second table here. So I, I think I will give this one. Let me give this one an ID. ID. False. Let me just give it. Uh, let's see. Uh, this one is middle. And then I'll give the other one the first one. Let me just give it top. Let me also give it top ID. I'll give it top just to identify. Even though we can use it when we write this CSS. Okay, let me just uh, have it as top. Okay, um, so I will need another pasting again. I have to paste another one after the table. Yep, so I need to paste another one here. Okay, so I want to. Okay, let me just uh, give it uh, also bottom. Okay, ID bottom. So these are the three tables. So I have the top, I have the top, um, middle, sorry, top, yeah, middle and uh, bottom. Okay, those are the three tables. So let me save my changes and then go ahead to refresh my page and then see that there are three tables created. Okay, the same thing. Now I want to, I want to add a line, more like a line break. Okay, so that at least the tables, the space in between the tables will be. You know a little more so i'm going to go back to my table i want to add uh, to this great end okay let me see from the top okay top maybe end end yeah okay so i'm going to have an empty tag called br just to break the uh, you know like to push down you know the line or to break the line okay so i'll save that and then refresh let me see if it's gonna have as you can see it has gone down a little bit so i'm gonna make it too in fact because I want the table, I want the uh, the space to be at least uh, reasonable. Okay, so I'm gonna make it twice. Uh, let me see how it looks. You have to push down a little more. So I think I like it that way. So I'll do the same thing. I'll just copy the two BRs. I'll do the same thing in this this place. So I'm gonna paste it right here and then save that and then refresh again. And then see the effect. Okay, so there's enough space in between the tables now, right? Good. All right. So what I'm going to do is to um, okay. Let me first of all read the question and see what's the next thing. So 
I have um, one above the other on the page. So I've done that. So I'm going to change the caption from uh, fruit sales to what no pardon. Okay, so I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to go up uh, fruit sales to no pardon. So I'm going to change this to no pardon. All right. I will save that. Let me see how it's going to look on my page. So that changes to no pardon. So I'm going to do the rest. Okay. What is the question again? Okay, okay, so good for the top. Okay, this is for the top table. So padding set to 25 pixels for the middle uh, table. Okay, padding set to 25 pixels for the middle table. So I'm gonna go back to my code again and then locate the middle. So this one is top. I want to locate the middle table. Okay, so I'm gonna have padding, padding set to 25 pixels. Uh, let me just write that. Okay, let me just see how the, the road in the question. Uh, pixels. Okay, I think I'm correct. Okay. So let me just look at the, the rest. So let me see. So also for the middle table. Okay. So padding. Okay, variable padding for the lower table. Okay, variable padding. So I'm going to set the fruit uh what's it called the fruit still the variable variable padding for the for someone variable padding okay so i'm going to save my changes control s and then i'll go back and then refresh my page and then see that all of them all of them have changed to padding set to the static source and variable padding okay good so um the next question, the next thing in the question, set the cell padding of the middle table to 25 pixels and the padding of the lower table to have top padding of 25 pixels, bottom padding of 20 pixels and left padding, left and right padding of, of 15 pixels, okay? Um, okay, so let's uh, handle the first one. Set the cell pattern of the middle. So we're interested in the middle table now. So I'm going to go to the table, the, the table tag, the table tag to set the table to the entire picture. Okay. So the space within the content of the, um, you know, of the table or the TV and the table will be that. So let me just go back to my code. Um, I have the middle. Go back again. Sure, what I'm showing. So the middle okay. So, the back. okay. so I'm gonna go back to my code. This is the middle, so I need it to be here. So I'm going to set the style now. I'm going to set the style to so this is the yeah, the style, the style attribute. Okay, so I'm gonna have my padding in the table. I want to have it as 25 pixels, okay. What am I doing? 25 pixels, please. 25 pixels. PX. Okay. So, good. So, I will save that. That's basically what the question says for the middle uh, table. So, I'm going to go back and see the changes that takes effect. Uh, good stuff. So, the space be between the border uh, of uh, the TD and the table itself will increase by 5 pixels. Okay. That's what it is, okay? And the another thing we have to do is to make sure because actually the pattern, the, basically the pattern, the content of this of the cell, more, more or less, the spacing within between the uh, the border of the cell and the content of the cell to go for the pattern. All right. So we're going to have the same thing, pattern, so the same style actually. Uh, we're going to have it within the T, uh, the T H and the T D, okay? So that there will be space between uh, the walls of each cell and the content of that cell okay so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to replicate that across the th and the dc okay so i'm going to simply copy everything here i'm going to copy the style actually and then make sure within the th that they are there so i'm going to paste that here 
and then uh, paste on the display. Uh, what's happening? Okay, I need to close that. Uh, map. Yep, good. Okay, so so we we expect uh, this is the th, so which means um we put on the price for the for the minute table. So we expect the space within the content and the and the wall of the cell to increase. So let me just uh, let me save this and then go to my code and see how it looks. So I expect so this is the head. This is the th now. This is where, where we have we just apply the padding. So we want the space within between that in the cell the put on the wall, we want the, the wall now to increase. Okay, that's what we call the padding. So the space within between the, the foot here and the wall around it. Okay, so let me refresh and see what happens. As you can see, so around it now is the five pixels. Okay, so this is what we mean by padding. So that space between the content of the cell and the wall of that cell. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to apply the same the same style to all the other. Uh, you know, all the other cells or all the other TDs and TPs. So what I'm going to do, I will simply apply that here. That's for the T. Uh, okay. And then we we'll see the effect before I now fast forward a little bit. So where's my T-foot? This is my t so I'm going to have them start here. Let me just copy this. I don't have to. Oh, it's smart. So I'll paste that here. So we're still in, in this D foot here and paste that here and then save my changes and go back and refresh and then we we'll see that the pattern of the, the footer has increased, right? So let me add the same all the add the same attributes to all the other the body, the body, right? So let me just go fast and see. Okay, so this is it. So we can um, we can save all our all our changes, and then we'll go back to our browser, and then refresh and see how it looks. So so, so this is how it looks. Okay, so this is the padding. The padding are all around all the cells to so in five pixels or all, all around the cells. Okay, okay, around the cells are to five pixels all of them. Okay, so this is for the middle. Okay. This, this is for the middle, the, the middle uh, table. So we're going to do, do, we're going to look at what, how we can, you know, uh, you know, uh, pad the the last one for some table. Okay. So let's go to the question and see what it says. So uh, the lower table to have top padding of 25 pixels, bottom uh, 20 pixels, and then left and right 15 pixels. Okay. So we're going to go back to the last one, okay? So I'm going to apply a style here. So I'm going to have um, style and then uh, of course padding. So I'm going to give, so now I'm going to give the padding all together, right? So 25 pixels is for the top, the X. So we're going to move uh, clockwise now, okay? So if I have space, the next um, side will be the right, okay? So and from the question, the right is 15 pixels, okay? And then we have the bottom. The bottom is, uh, let me be sure what I'm saying. The bottom is uh, 20 pixels, okay? So we have 20 pixels, okay? And then lastly, the left. The left is also 20 pixels, okay? So this is how we can give this, um, you know, everything like I want okay otherwise you can be you, you can type padding top um you know padding top the static or something like that I mean just a lot of work so I just like my just um so just do uh clockwise uh, top right bottom left okay this is how it is all right good so um so we've applied the, the padding on the table okay so let's save our changes and then let's go let's go and refresh our page and then see what it does on the bottom nothing happened okay so let me see my mistake 
let me see what I got wrong yeah um <laughs> so I got the I got the spelling wrong my spelling was wrong that's why it did not work okay so I just corrected that now all right so I'm going to save that and then go back and refresh okay so it takes effect here okay so we had the top 25 pixels the right uh, 15 pixels bottom 20 pixels which is the distance uh, here all right and then um, we have uh, the, the left 15 pixels so the left and right are 15 pixels and then the top 25 and the bottom 20 pixels okay so this is what we mean by you know the pad in the table pad in here okay so in the in the same vein we, we are going to apply the same pattern to all the th and tv okay so we're going to apply the same thing so what i'm going to do go back to my code uh i'll go back to my code and then copy this okay and then and then do the same uh number of pixels on the old th and tv so i'm going to do that same thing so uh, face that uh hope this code is red yes correct okay so i'm going to do that okay, so i'm still on the head so i'm going to try that on the head first of all and then see how it looks i will save my changes go back to my browser and try that again so as you can see the the head has taken shape so we have bottom 25 pixels left and right uh 15 pixels and then uh, sorry uh so in five pixels left and right uh 15 pixels and then bottom 20 pixels, okay so the space with between the price and the wall okay of it more or less like the border okay between the border and the price the content of that cell okay so that is um what we mean by that so i'm going to affect the, the rest of it okay just like we did in the middle table all right so Right, so I'm going to save my changes and then go to my browser and then refresh the page and see that everything has taken shape. Okay, so uh, this is for the table. Now, one thing I want to tell you guys is that if I collapse the table, if I collapse the border of the table, this will make a little more sense. Okay, so, um, okay, let me take the middle. Because the middle has of oh, you know the biggest uh, uh, padding which is the five pixels so i'm going to look at this um you know so i want to collapse this border here like the space between the you know the cd border and the table border so i want to collapse collapse that and then see how the pattern will look like it's going to look uh, uh kind of uh, a little bit uh, okay even though this is out of the question okay so this is this is the perfect way the, um, the solution on the question should be but I just want to try something so if I go to my uh, middle table and then apply um, the property here um, cell party uh, cell sorry but I collapse but I collapse and then uh, make it to the collapse okay that's for that middle table and then i'll save the changes if i go back and refresh this this is how it looks like okay so that will make a little bit more sense to you right now right so you see that um, um the space the right left everything within the every cell of that table uh the pattern will be more clear okay for you. okay well so this is how it is done so i'm going to go back just remove that uh, collapse just to leave it uh, just to be consistent with the question i'll go back and then uh, refresh that just to take it back all right so that's how you can do that so if you have any question please you can you can leave a comment down below if you have any addition any suggestion or anything that you notice you can leave a comment down below okay so be before i end this uh this is tax 21 i so i want to save this tab as 21j also because we're going to be needing this in subsequent um you know tasks okay so i'm going to go to file and then save as 
uh, come on, good. So I want to save it in tax into one day file, sorry, folder. Okay, so I will change this to tax into one day.xtm and then I will save it right there. Okay, so you can do the same thing just to follow us up on you know other tasks. Okay. So that is that is it for this question. So um, leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Thank you so much. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.